Hey, it's me, Destin. Welcome back to Smarter Every Day. So excited about this video. In the last episode of Smarter Every Day, I showed you my transparent potato gun at 3,000 frames per second during the day. Three, two, one. But this episode is gonna be the same transparent potato gun, meaning we can look directly into the science at night at 20,000 frames per second. Goggle up, science is about to happen. What happens if I start the ignition of the potato gun from the back versus what happens if I start it from the middle? I always thought they would have worked better if you go from the middle because you get even expansion of those gases. But let's record it in high speed and let's see what the difference is between the two. We'll go from the back first. Got some potato juices in there. Three, two, one. <laughs> this is like nine o'clock. <laughs> Alright, it's ice speed. It's completely awesome. <laughs> We saw that it started at one end and went all the way to the end. Now I'm gonna take this, it's a grill igniter. You can see the little zaps there. I've got electrodes set up in the center of the potato gun and we're gonna zap it from the center and we should get a more even combustion, right? So let me hook it up and then we'll give it a shot. Literally, loading the potato gun again. Three, two, one. <laughs> it doesn't get off. Was that cool or what? Okay, so check it out. So this is my combustion chamber, right? The first time I shot this thing, it was a flint sparker on the end of this thing, right? If I hold it, you can see I twist and I get the spark. Whoops. What you saw on the second time, here are my electrodes that I told you about. I'm gonna hit this button, you can see down in there. Can you see what I'm sparking right there in the middle? That's how I fired that thing. When we first start the combustion from the end, it's a wave. You've got an oxygen fuel mixture that goes all the way down the combustion chamber. When we start right in the middle, we start to expand. We start using that fuel and using that oxygen, but we run out of oxygen before we burn all the fuel. We're gonna shoot this thing from the end. We're gonna zoom in with a high speed directly on the combustion chamber, and we're gonna see if we can see that flame front moving. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. Three, two, one. Okay, before I show you the next slow-mo, I want you to understand that it has enough information in it to provide for several PhDs. So I want you to be on the lookout for a couple of key things that I find interesting. Number one, when the explosion moves towards the closed off end of the combustion chamber, unless the fuel air mixture is just perfect, sometimes you'll run out of oxygen and have unburned fuel. This creates a compressed pocket of fuel that stays unburned until it turns into a rarefaction and pulls more oxygen back in through the barrel to burn it up. Number two, there's something that happens in combustion chambers called sidewall cooling. Basically, the pipe itself cools the gases down below the combustion point so it can't burn right next to the wall. This leaves more unburned fuel and actually accounts for most of the pollution products caused by the engine in your car. The slow motion you're about to see is real. I haven't ramped the speed to make it look more interesting. It's just pure awesome footage, straight out of the high-speed camera. Yes.
happens as the explosion over expands. The system has to equalize, so it pulls air back in through the barrel into the combustion chamber, which causes that fresh oxygen in the air to meet up with the remaining fuel and start the burning process all over again. It's a pretty inefficient way to burn a fuel-rich mixture, so I think my original hypothesis might be wrong. I think it's cool that when the gas squeezes down into the barrel from the combustion chamber, it has to speed up so that it can maintain the exact same flow rate. One of the things I love about science is the ability to look at a complex dynamic system like this and try to understand every physical phenomenon that's occurring. But equally important to me, personally, is the ability to look at footage like this and say, you know, that's pretty. To summarize what we've learned tonight, think about this. When you have a combustion chamber, we've learned that it depends not only on the localized chemistry or the stoichiometry, the fuel-air mixture, at any point inside that combustion chamber, it also depends on how it's vented. It's really fascinating. The dynamics of venting a combustion chamber affect directly the ability to create localized pressures and rarefactions. Sometimes at the end of the video when the ad part comes up, you kind of roll your eyes because you're not excited about it. Well, this time is different. You see, Smarter Every Day is supported by Audible.com and they've supported me for a really long time and it's a really big deal because it's kind of expensive to afford videos like this. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an Audible event so that you can remember to support Smarter Every Day at audible.com slash smarter. We're going to create the same flame front that we did before, only we're not gonna contain both sides of it. We're gonna vent one side, and I want you to listen to this huge Audible event, and then we're gonna look at it in high speed. Ready, three, two, one. <laughs> it's on fire. If you want to support Smarter Every Day, feel free to go to audible.com slash smarter. That's a very audible event, I hope you agree. Anyway, they have tons of free audiobooks if you get a free trial at audible.com slash smarter. I'm super stoked that they have chosen to support Smarter Every Day for so long. They've been a very valuable partner and I am very appreciative. So, if you wanna support Smarter Every Day directly, go to audible.com slash smarter, get a free trial of audiobooks. You're gonna get smarter and you're gonna like it. So there you go. I hope you feel like this video earned your subscription. If not, that's it. I'm Destin, you're getting smarter every day. Have a good one. What do you know, Mr. Ray? Potato gun at watermelon. Yeah, and I'm gonna record it in slow motion. You are? Yeah. Uh -huh. Is that cool? That's <laughs> something else. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna do it at night too? Is that all right? It's your property, do what you want to on it. You do anything you want to do over here, you ain't gonna bother me. <laughs> I think it's time to go to bed. <laughs>